Excuses are stories we make up to get out of trouble. Typical teenage problems like forgetting homework and sneaking out often require a good, well thought out excuse such as these. They may not always work, but they're sure to entertain. Excuse number one, the ever popular missed homework excuse. Welcome to school. Hey, both of you, take off your hats. <laughs> Don't bring them back. And no talking. Now, continue your work. Matthew, come up here, please. <laughs> Why didn't you have your homework today? Well, my dad, we were in the mall together, and he's such a great dad who's buying me things because it's my birthday today. And Your birthday's in June. <laughs> isn't it June? It's April. Well, it was my mom's birthday, and so we were buying things for her, and we were going up the escalator, and my dad's shoelaces were untied. And so it got stuck between the steppy things and the things that it goes under, and so half of his foot went under it, and there was a lot of blood and stuff, and we spent like four hours trying to get it out, we finally pulled it loose, and we got him to the ER as fast as we could, but he lost half his foot, and so then that's why I did it. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, Matthew. <laughs> Give me a hug! <laughs> you don't have to do your homework for the rest of the week. Go ahead, you do. Excuse number two, the broken window. No. Yes, you did. Well, it wasn't my fault. Okay, then whose was it? Because there was this plane coming from Canada to Yankee Stadium to deliver baseballs so the Yankees can beat the Red Sox for another 86 years. And the plane was overhead, and that mean boy over there, he was lighting fireworks, and one of the fireworks went off, and it hit the propeller of the plane, and it, it had to dump all its cargo because it could carry all the weight with only one propeller. So baseballs were flying everywhere, and I was weed whacking the bushes over there because I was trying to raise money for people with cancer because I know that they don't like the life they're in, so I just try to make it a little bit better. And so the baseballs were flying down, one of the baseballs hit one of the spinny things in the weed whacker, and it came flying towards the window, and I dove after it, and I was like, no, but it just <laughs> eluded my grasp, and it hit the window. Oh, it's okay, Matt. I'll fix it. Okay. Number three, coming home late. Party, guys. See you tomorrow. Mommy, he's home! Oh my God. Huh? He's home! Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> hey. It's, what, 3 o'clock a.m.? Where have you been all night? Um, I, I was on my way back home at 9.30 to get here 15 minutes early so you wouldn't have to worry. And then I heard this person crying in the sewer and so I opened the hatch and I went in and there was this lady being attacked by crocodiles and so I had to wrestle the crocodiles away and then the the I the crocodiles bit her and so then I had to patch her up and everything with because I have sewing needles in my back pocket and so then I picked her up and the crocodiles were closing in on me from the exit so I had to run three miles in the sewer while carrying her on my back and then once I got to the surface I that my cell phone didn't work because they had no service and so then I had to run four miles to the nearest hospital though but I had to stop five times to bring her back to life and so then once I got to the hospital I dropped her off and the person wanted me to stay because she wanted to thank me a lot and stuff and so then I finally caught a ride back home and here I am now. It's okay Matt. Sneaking out and messing up your sister's room. Please, can you please rest my brother? I can't. I'm your friend. <laughs> that was so fun! Shaniqua, what happened in here? Um, don't ask me. Ask Matthew. He come out the window to party with his friends five times and he messed up my room too. Yeah. Do you have something to say about this? Well, I didn't go outside to party with my friends because I had to sneak out to, to do a food pantry drive with them. And one of my friends, he slipped on a can and hit his head. 
and he needed immediate brain surgery, so I had to come back in and out of the house to get the necessary tools for the surgery, and no one else there knew how to do it, so I had to improvise and use little twigs and stuff as stitches and grass and stuff, and so then I sewed him back together and everything was fine, and so that's what happened. I believe you, Matt. Thanks. <laughs>